What is up, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon Go Raid videos. I know, it's been only a day since you've last seen one of these, but essentially we've got four raids coming up. This is a record, I haven't done four raids in a video yet. Um, but basically we're going to be doing a bunch of Blacephalon, but first I wanted to include a Mega Pidgeot raid, just because, I don't know why, but I woke up and I saw that this was going on and I'm like, I need the Mega Energy in order to actually evolve Pidgeot into Mega Pidgeot. I just want the energy, man. It's the same as the Gyarados. I don't care if I catch it. As long as I manage to actually get the energy, it's all good. I have no problem doing it. But essentially in this video, you're going to see a lot of Blacephalon raids. And um, yeah, this, this Pidgeot was pretty easy to take out, to be honest with you. I didn't have very much of an issue taking it out at all with the party I had. Um, but yeah, I couldn't commentate over it while I was actually doing the raid because it was so windy, bro. It was actually so windy. So I just decided to go mute and, um, yeah, now I'm commentating it here. So yeah, I'm sorry that I've kind of spoiled the entire video, but you know what? That's, that, that's par for the course. You'll see what I get in this, see how many I catch at the same time. And there's actually a bit, there, there's a bit of a surprise at the end of the video. Uh, as well, I think the third raid is when um, things start to get super interesting. And um, yeah, so let's see. Got 225 mega energy from that raid. That's actually pretty good. So yeah, we got a 1170 CP Pidgeot. I decided to use Panap Berries this time because, again, I don't care if I catch it. And uh, of course, I missed the first ball. But um, yeah, if I throw it and actually uh, get the Pidgeot, um, I will get 20 candies instead of 10, which is pretty nice uh, because, you know, Pidgeot candies and, you know, any candies in general are pretty cool. So, um, yeah, we're going to be able to catch it this time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go manage to get the Pidgeot. I don't think it was a really good one. I think, yeah, I think it was like two stars. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it was two stars. But anyways, let's get to the next raid, which is going to be a Blacephalon raid. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are right into the Blacephalon raid here and i am so excited to get this pokemon it is it looks super super cool honestly i think we got the better raid boss here on the western hemisphere um blacephalon looks way better than stack attacker in my personal opinion i love the disco ball aesthetic it goes for i don't know i just i like it i like it a bit more and i hope i can catch it this first time because whenever i have to you know try and catch it on another raid it's like it's it's a little um more irritating but you know what it's less pressure now because i'm using uh my free raid passes it's over in my area so i can actually just go and get it locally rather than spending two dollars on remote raids that's why it was so important for me to catch those two stack attackers there um but other than that i think this is going to be a pretty cool raid boss i don't think this one can be shiny unfortunately um, this would be a pretty cool shiny though. Imagine it with like green lights and all that other stuff. That'd be super cool. But um, regardless, I think this is going to be a pretty cool Pokemon to add to the Pokedex. You guys get to see another Pokedex entry. If I catch it, maybe I shouldn't be so cocky given how, um, you know, bad I've been when it comes to catching anything recently. But um, you know what? I think that Gyarados just scarred me. I can't lie. I think that Gyarados honestly just scarred me for life. But um, I'm not even going to goof around. I'm not using uh, Panat Berries like I did last time on the Pidgeot. I'm just going to catch it with my Gold Raz instantly. Or not instantly, but uh, that's what I will be using. Ooh, I got Blastoise Mega Energy. I should really not skip past this. What the hell? I'm going to get Mega Blastoise Energy from this. What? That doesn't make any sense. All right, 17 chances. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that looks so sick. All right, let's use our Gold Raz. See if we can catch it very quickly oh no excellent but we get the buddy assist uh we'll get one ball off here and it immediately just exits i love how it just exited there that's so funny okay hold on let's try and completely whiff on that you know what i'm just gonna try and aim for great throws because trying to go for excellence is bad that almost caught it that's crazy what that's actually crazy okay hold on let's just do that great throw great throw every single time is always efficient honestly it's, the, it's my go-to, is aiming for that great throw. A nice throw works, but you know what? It's better than going for an excellent and then missing it, right? You don't want to go for an excellent and then miss it, and then all that boost is just gone. 
See, we're gonna catch it. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We have caught the Blacephalon on our first raid. Let's see the boat Pokedex entry. Absolutely beautiful. It goes right next to the stack attacker there. And it looks absolutely amazing. Did we get a good one though, ladies and gentlemen? Let's see. Ah, two star, not the greatest. Uh, we'll see in future raids if I can catch more of them. That would be pretty sick as well. We are now on the second Blacephalon raid, hoping to find a three star before the end of the video. And ladies and gentlemen, we had 14 people in this lobby. I think that might be the biggest I've ever had uh, in Pokemon Go. And uh, this also includes both of my parents that came to try and get Blacephalon. And I'm not even gonna lie to you, we obviously took down this raid very, very, very quickly because I mean, 14 people is crazy. Um, we also did a party mode, which actually helped contribute to the um, you know, the downfall of this Blacephalon. So, um, the, uh, the reason you're not hearing game audio, by the way, is because I accidentally forgot to mute my microphone. And given that we are all talking, um, I didn't really want that in the background of me commentating over this. So unfortunately I had to mute the audio here, but hopefully my commentary is sufficient enough for you. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, my dad did not end up catching this Blacephalon, so he still does not have one in the Pokédex, which is super unfortunate because these ones are not easy to beat, ladies and gentlemen. They are not easy to beat at all. Um, so anyways, my mom did end up catching it, so, um, yeah, that's, that's awesomeness. I believe I ended up catching it. We will have to see here, but, um, yeah, the, the whole thing with Blacephalon here is that um, you've got to be very calculated with how you use your raid passes because um, Again, these are only here for a specific amount of time and you got to be very careful with how you use them um, You don't want to get into your uh, premium battle passes because those end up costing money and You got to be careful with how you do your raids and stuff if you live in a area without very many gyms You got to be careful with how you use everything and um, Yeah, Blacephalon is actually I'm not gonna lie to you has been pretty easy to catch um, for all the raid bosses I've had, I remember I was trying to catch Kartana for a lot of them, and I ended up missing on uh, most of them, actually. I, I don't- I think I have- I think I caught, like, four Kartanas? I've, I'll have it- hopefully um, I might have it on screen, but if not, um, Kartana had such a small hitbox. It's super nice that, um, Blacephalon here, you can easily- you, like, it's easy to get an excellent throw on this. Like, um, throwing the ball- the fact that I actually was able to get that is kind of crazy. So, um, without further ado, let's see if this Blacephalon is good, and of course not, it's a two-star, which means we need to find another raid. Ladies and gentlemen, on to the fourth raid of the video. All right, everyone, I am doing my third Blacephalon raid of the day, and there's, there's some people over here, so I've gotta keep quiet, but, um, yeah, I still, to this, to this minute right now, I have not gotten a three-star Blacephalon, and that is very not good for me because I really want one. <laughs> I want a good one, man. So um, I'm literally using my premium battle passes in order to hopefully get one. In this video, this is the fourth raid of this video. Hopefully I can stretch it to eight minutes so I can add some mid rolls in there. But um, <laughs> shh. anyways, um, yeah, hopefully I can get myself a better Blacephalon and hopefully I can catch it as well. Um, but yeah, it's been an interesting day. I hope I commentated over the 14 person raid that we somehow got uh, with my parents and all that. I think it was pretty crazy that we managed to get 14 people. The raid itself lasted like a couple of seconds, but it was crazy. But um, yeah, this one was actually pretty easy as well. We had seven people in it this time, but still took it out with relative ease, hopefully. Uh, it's not that windy right now. It is very, uh, <laughs> it's actually kind of snowy a little bit. Nine rare candies from that bow. God, these are crazy raids, bro. These are crazy to do. Um, all right, so 13 balls. We are going to get an 1849. I think that's better. I think that's way better than my other ones. I think I had 1830s. I'm not entirely sure. We got an excellent throw on our first ball, ladies and gentlemen. Can we, oh, we cannot catch it the first time. Of course not. Let's use a gold raspberry. We don't get, we, we don't want to get a little too confident. Um, we got a great throw. This one's pretty easy to get excellence on. I can't lie. The fact I've hit excellence on this is pretty nuts, especially considering you guys know my terrible uh, catching prowess that I've had ever since that Gyarados disaster. But um, hopefully, 
I can again catch this one. I have 10 opportunities to another great throw. Maybe I should be a little bit more patient, try and get an excellent here. Um, all right, yeah, no, this is not working out. God damn. Anyways, um, yeah, I hope I can, re I really hope I can catch this one because now I'm actually starting to spend money on trying to do it. I missed that one ball. Hopefully that does not come around to um, nip me in the butt there. Uh, let's see if we can catch this. Ladies and gentlemen, another excellent. We got an excellent, let's go. We got another excellent, ladies and gentlemen. Can I catch it right here? No, I can't. What the freak? What is going on right now? I've, I've hit some good throws. I don't, I don't know what's up. It is starting to rain right now. I'm actually doing this in the rainbow. That's crazy. That is actually crazy. Can we catch it? Can we catch it? Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> we caught it. I think this one's going to be a three star. I'm not going to over exaggerate it, ladies and gents. Can we actually get a three star? Yes, we can. And it's a good one. Let's go. Blacephalon three star in my account. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, if you want more Pokemon Go raids stuff, any, any, just any Pokemon Go content in general, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment telling me your feedback on how I can make these videos better. And with that, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody.